talk to the proper two managers. Oh God. <laughs> mhm. Mm We're going to talk to the landlords. We're going to so change you, their minds. So you guys get outside and start heading towards the castle. Can you all make a stealth and pers well if you're stealthing, please make a stealth check. If you are not stealthing and you're just trying to be as plain as day, can you make a perception check for me? Oh, stealth check. We're going first. And maybe a history check as well. Just a I mean. <laughs> Ooh, brutal. Winslow, you ain't sneaking. <laughs> That's about right for wins, though. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see many are. And then you said perception on the other one? Yeah, perception and history. You do not mind. All right. Cool. Hey, I am rolling fucking baller today. So great. So great. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So with these rolls, Ziminiar, you remember that there is a curfew out. As soon as you leave, there is a curfew. And thankfully, you guys see Winslow kind of wobbling along behind you guys <laughs> just making kicking every rock essentially known to man and you both are able to kind of like grab the rocks as they're just tumbling everywhere on the ground <laughs> and all of you we'll say all of you because zimini i'm sure will point this out is as you guys are walking up towards the castle you see probably for the first time since the boat an elf kind of also outside and they kind of look at you and they're like, what are you doing out? What are you doing out? I was meeting someone. We are what too. What are you doing out? Who are you meeting? Miles, who are we meeting? Of course, we're supposed to be here. We're meeting with, we're on a diplomatic mission. We won't let you out for being outside. No, you guys need to go back in. You need to go back into your home. You need Why to. Why aren't you then, if it's so terrifying? Because I know, I already know what's going to happen to me for doing this. If you guys are on a diplomatic mission, do not be out because those do not matter to them. Who's them? What's the problem? You're Just be afraid. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not work. Work. Just be frank and tell us what we're supposed, what we should be avoiding here, if if you really want to be helpful. And she's like them, and she points up to the castle. As you guys are kind of like somewhere along this bridge, I'll say you're about here. Well, no, we'll put you further down here in this area of this bridge. And she's kind of saying they're like, no, they don't. I'm sure you noticed already. You went with the dwarves, right? You're the ones with the dwarves and questioning. Yeah. Yes, no, they don't care about your standard of who you are out there. Here, it's them and them only that matter and that have any rights. Anyone that visits is even essentially in my position. And I don't want anything to happen to you because if their father finds you, it's over. And she like kind of like does like, mind you, the whole time she's whispering and she's just like constantly looking up and around to make sure no one's out. And she's like, you thought Jarvin was bad. You don't want to see their parents. You need to go. It sounds like they just need to be reminded of why we have a hierarchy. They know why they have a hierarchy. They are their own level of kings and queens out here. It would be like talking to the king of Egg like that. You can't do that. They are the king and queen of this area. They're at the same level on their land. The only people above them is the king and queen. What you're saying is that someone needs to... You know what? I probably shouldn't say that out loud. Well, at the, the end of the day... You're finally thinking along the lines of thought that I would support. And at the end of the day, they are also 
just like me, except they got lucky to have a family name that is pretty much sworn to serve the king. That's it. That's all the Alsternia family is. That's all any of the families really are. Yes, but theirs is a bit more particular as they have to, you know, send one of their children off to the guard and all of that, a.k.a. Saris. Yeah, she would be a better queen. <sighs> Not with what I've heard is going on and why she's visiting. She doesn't visit often. and It didn't what sound good. What have you heard? Her. It's not my right to gossip about it. You're already gossiping about a plenty of shit. <laughs> I'm aware of that, but this is Are a much you? more private matter. Do you think... Do we look like so, anyone who would care? He's a dwarf. He's already seen enough to hate everyone in that castle. We, Our opinions couldn't be lower. Uh, I... Mm, uh. And she's, like, looking, and she's, like, very, like, wanting to say something, but you can tell. She's, like, she's, like, if I say this, I'm, it's not my place. They know about Harold. They know about her and Harold, and it's illegal. And essentially, the king, him, the Austerian king, is essentially saying, oh, I'm going to go talk to the king. And rearrange things. And from what I've gathered is she might be being sent back here, demoted, and put on the same level as me, while Jarvin gets to be sent as the King's Guard instead. Oh, so I know exactly what I need to do then. So it's not a good time, and I would definitely stay clear of Saris if you plan on seeing her tomorrow morning. Because she will be in a very bad mood. We're used to that. <laughs> no, she's... No, I need to go. And she starts running back as you guys start seeing, like, torches kind of lighting up, lighting up near the castle and whatnot. So it seems like there's activity happening in there. What do you guys choose to do? Go back to the house. <laughs> All right, Winslow leaves. Zvidia <laughs> Parker, Miles, what do you two do? Does Winslow even say that he's leaving back to the house, or does he just start walking back? <laughs> I start kicking more rocks back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Zvidia is gonna look at Miles and say, "All right, I think he's out. What What do you think the plan should be here?" I know what I want to do, and you know what I want to do, but is it smart right now? It's hard to say. It might be wiser here to retreat and bide our time and make a decision later. All right, let's go back then. And if we find anyone on the way back, maybe we can just kill them to blow off some steam. There you go. That might be the way to go. Plus, surely, surely, surely right. we can maybe maybe we can go above their heads. You know, talk yeah. to Harold about what's happening over here. Is Harold even close enough to us right now, or is no? But what I'm it? sure we could. He's staying behind at Florentine, right? While Hamlet is yeah. going back to going back because of the plague. So Harold should be within our reach within our influence what if this kind of causes an incident where harold won't be able to talk to us i mean i doubt that the floor the royalty well, and Florentine will like if do get, anything same, but if we get caught that that'll cause an incident for sure so we should try to not get caught all right but we should try to think of what to do do about this in terms of harold I don't know if he'll get in trouble for dating an elf. Uh, I think it's... I think that Saris being unable to see him will put a stop to him seeing her, too, so... Yeah, but... Do you think he'll just sit by and let her be a slave? No, I don't. And we've seen a future where they wind up together, so... I suspect somehow yeah. he's able to get away with it. 
It might be us, dude. Or I just like think dude. Us. <laughs> I assume you guys are talking about this on your way back, and yeah, you get back yes, into the house. <laughs> okay. I've walking and talking this whole time, trying okay. to make sure uh, Winslow didn't give us away with his rocks. All right, good. Good, good. So you guys get back in the house and can continue this talk or go to bed or whichever you choose to do. I'm gonna drink. All right. All right, let's start drinking. We all... We all partake, right? Sure. Very good. All but right. This is this is where we have a heartfelt discussion about whether Winslow should change his mind and maybe not be a dwarf anymore. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much wrong with that mind. <laughs> Winslow, you've got so much to live for. You've proven that you can be a more upstanding member of society. Why do you choose this check. life? From all of you? <laughs> yeah, nice constitution save and or check. I'll take either. Ah, fuck it, do a save. Constitution save, please, from all three of you. <laughs> yeah. Let's get a constitution. Oh. Oh. Uh, that's <laughs> That throw does not say otherwise. Winslow is doing fine. You two, on the other hand, are uh, y'all are they can't handle that dwarven brewery. (laughs) Y'all are you the tipsy. I think Winslow is pretty fucking fine the way he is. You would, would a stretcher even stretch him? Winslow, would a stretcher stretch you if you stretched it with a stretcher? What are you uh, even saying? I'm not is saying something. Winslow isn't fine. I'm saying that Winslow is too fine, you know, for the position that he's holding in this society. Miles, was that a compliment to a and, dark individual? No, that was a compliment to Winslow. And as you all are, you two, Winslow and Zemini, are kind of don't realize how loud you're being just because of how kind of tipsy you are, and Winslow's just sitting there, perplexed. Uh, Little Harbo (laughs) walks out of his room after sobbing and sleeping. (laughs) And he comes out to the group, two of which are drunk, essentially. (laughs) And Winslow is sitting there, asking to be being asked if he could be stretched. (laughs) Uh, Haribo just kind of Stretches and yawns a little bit. <laughs> Why are you so loud? And he rubs his eyes. So maybe I runs over and picks up Haribo. <laughs> what are you doing, Haribo? Are you colorful today? What? <laughs> Have you considered being, um... <laughs> Less colorful, Harbo. Winslow, what's going on? They decided to partake in some dwarven fun. What does that mean? I believe the word is imbibe. Here, above his head, he's like, hey, we. Does um, Zabinier still have a hold of Haribo? <laughs> yes. yes. You are. <laughs> Haribo, <laughs> thinking quickly and on his feet, would like to <laughs> cast color spray <laughs> to distract Zabinier oh. <laughs> and Miles so he can at least be behind Winslow. <laughs> <laughs> I just say it works. I'll say it works. Ray. Can, uh, all three of you give me another perception, or not perception. There you go. <laughs> Constitution save, please. Let's see how you guys are doing. Uh, the color's nice. All right. All right. All 
right. Winslow, you're not even feeling it. You're like, this is weak. The other <laughs> two, you guys are starting to uh you're starting to sober up a little bit. Maybe you had a bit of a weaker batch this time as you're drinking through. Top of the barrel is very strong for once instead of the bottom of the bottle. And oh. uh you guys are starting to kind of come back to reality as you see just colorful lights twinkling around you guys. I forgot what I was doing. Oops, there goes gravity. <laughs> what, we're coming back to reality. Oops, there goes gravity. The eight mile over here. <laughs> The real eight mile. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> well, this moment planned the coin history for me. <laughs> oh. oh, you two set that up so well. <laughs> All right. So as the night goes on, you all have a good, fun drink on. Harbo, do you partake in any of the dwarven liquor? Well, Harry sees what it did to the other two, and it makes him nervous. <laughs> all right. Fair. <laughs> so Maniac's going to walk over to Harbo with another mug, because he's smart. Oh, no. <laughs> and he's uh, He's just going to swing it and then look at Haribo and say, Hey, Haribo, you drink this, I'll give you a sandwich. What's a sandwich? <laughs> it's like a sandwich, but said incorrectly. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. I think I want to. You're turning about as red as I usually get. And yeah. I don't need alcohol for that. Yeah, but Haribo, I'm always this red. I'm a fucking tiefling. By the way, why does that happen, oh, yeah. Haribo? Haribo, buddy. Look at Miles. Miles is mostly fucking <laughs> this drunk all the time. You know this to be That's true. true. Like Miles is actually... Actually, looking at your... Out of character, looking at your little um token zero of Zeminiar, you are not <laughs> tiefling red. <laughs> <laughs> Never updated your photo, good sir. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, Everyone else's makes sense. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> what what people on Twitch can see makes sense with what I'm saying. <laughs> As Haribo's skin color changes to a seafoam green. He looks at Miles, who asks um, the very intimidating question, and he gets all flustered and you can see his face blush, and he starts messing around with his his clothes, and he turns away. Wait, don't turn away. Answer the <laughs> question. Answer the question or drink. I'll give you the option. I don't want to do either. No, you have to do one. Or the other. <laughs> Hairbow uh, turns scarlet again. <laughs> I choose not to, sir. I I don't know why you keep asking me that question. It seems to be fairly normal that weird things happen to all of us. I cast um remove curse <laughs> on Hairbow. <Harbo. laughs> what? I vote that Miles shouldn't be allowed to cast curses because of how drunk he is. is oh, wait, I can only bestow curses. I'm not a really a cure curse kind of guy. He's gonna accidentally curse someone else. Yeah, really, he's gonna put another curse on Haribo. I cast Speak with Dead on Haribo. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Haribo, you should totally... Like, you should totally just speak in regular statements, not, like, really fast while using color spray. That would be fucking awesome. 